Hello, it's your boy David off. So West Ham put this game on general sale when I thought to myself, it's £20. Let's do it. I'm sitting in the home end as an Arsenal fan, so no Arsenal clothing. I've got an Arsenal key ring that I've now switched. I've now used, I'm using different house keys just in case. Last round I did the same with Brentford, but that was a resale ticket. This time it's actually a legitimate West Ham ticket on general sale. Made an account for free and I got it, so now I'm going. But West Ham is a lot more hostile than Brentford. Um, West Ham hates Spurs more, and we hate Spurs more than anyone in London, but there's a common enemy, but they still don't really like us either. Um, even, especially recently, with uh, the rice deal. I don't know why that makes them angry, to be honest, because we got rice, yes, we took a great player, and he's been brilliant for us, but we paid him 105 million. They've used the money to strengthen their squad, and they look a lot better now. So I think everyone wins out of this, to be honest, just my perspective. But yeah, West Ham don't really like us anyway, even outside of Rice. Uh, but they just hate Spurs more. So we don't really like cross each other too often. But uh, just in case, and because of the Rice deal as well, I just want to, you know, I can't let anyone know I'm an Arsenal fan. I got to sit there in silence if we score and if we win and just watch the game. Uh, hopefully uh, we win. Um, hopefully we don't rest too many players. We've got Newcastle away. We've got a big month. We've got Sevilla and Lons at home in the Champions League. Newcastle away is the next league game. Uh, we've got some big games coming up this month. Uh, so I hope we don't rest too many players, even though we've got Newcastle away in the weekend. Yes, I know it's a big game, but we've never won the Carabao. We never won the League Cup. It's been called multiple things. Carling Cup, Coca-Cola Cup, League Cup. Uh, Capital One Cup, what else has it been called? EFL Cup, it changes like every few years. Anyway, we've never won it in my lifetime. We've won it twice, both of those before even Wenger was here. So, I mean, I was born before Wenger was here, but still, the point is, we've not won it in a long time, really won it twice. Um, I'd love to see us win it. Um, I know it's, you know, we can, the FA Cup is bigger. Um, obviously the league, the Champions League, those are bigger competitions. But I still want to see us win this competition at least once. We've got to three finals in my lifetime, lost all three of them. I think it was four finals, actually. It's it's a dreadful record in this competition. Uh, I was at the last final against Man City. We lost 3-0 a few years ago under Wenger. So, yeah, look, I want us to play a strong team. I'm not expecting the strongest. I'm not expecting the strongest team. But hopefully it's not too, too much. Hopefully it's a nice mix. Like, I don't mind them starting Trossard or Nelson, whatever. It's not that. It's just that I hope it's not complete reserves all across the field. I'm happy for Ramsdale to play, that's fine. I think Ramsdale's better away than home as well. I think, I feel like the solution to that is Raya, Raya at home, Ramsdale away. Maybe that won't work either because we're just cursed at the Emirates. We always concede there. But um, regardless, I'm happy for Ramsdale to play. Trossard, Nelson, yeah, play them, that's fine. And Ketty up front, I'm not sure, but sure. Give me, he's confident, give him the chance, sure. Um, I don't mind them resting a few players, but I think, you know, play Rice, play a few players. Don't rest too many because this is a competition we can go for. Um, and I think it's possible. You know, Man City are out as well. That's got to be said. And Man United and Newcastle are playing each other. Liverpool are still there, of course. They'll be very tough. But it's an opportunity here, especially with the, with the right draws here and there. Hopefully we can go all the way. But we need to win tonight. It's a big game. It's a massive game. West Ham obviously have other priorities as well. they got Europa League. For example, with Premier League, of course, on the weekend. But they are less likely to rest players than we are. So they, they're going to go for it at home. Um, I just hope that we can win the game today. So let's head over there. And uh, let's just say we'll be going there again if uh, I get found out for sure. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot more hostile. Hopefully I don't uh, get assaulted. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. It's, it's fine. I've actually wanted to go to the stadium for a while, not just because of football, but we hosted the Olympics there. West Ham got the stadium from the Olympics. They got a good deal out of it. When they announced the Olympics uh, were on sale, they had a ballot thing and I applied for pretty much any event that was in the stadium. Didn't get any of them. Probably should have applied for like something like swimming or something, but I didn't get any of them. Um, then I went to New York because it was cheaper to go that, that We were going to go to New York. I was going to go with Grandad, but uh, it was cheaper to go on that particular week. So I missed the Olympics. Um, I'm not as big on the Olympics now as I was before, but... I did love it back then. So I even got a Blu-ray of the London 2012 Olympics because we had some great moments. I never got to see any of it live, which was, uh, I was quite gutted by that. So I'm finally going there, this time for an Arsenal game. So I'm looking forward to it. The stadium isn't really like, so, some of the views are a bit dodgy because it's not really made for football. But uh, hopefully it's good. And uh, I expect a good atmosphere. 
hopefully we win. Come on, you Gunners. I did go there once for the Paralympics, but that wasn't the stadium. That was an arena somewhere else in the Olympic Park. But yeah, we're going there to the London Stadium over in East London. From here, it's about 50 minutes, I think. Two overground trains, or I can take a bus and a train. I'm taking two overground trains. Less than an hour. Uh, should be a bit more coming back. But uh, yeah, it's currently rush hour, so probably a bit of you know, packed trains. But we'll be all right. Uh, it's next to the sh shopping centre. I've been a plenty of times so to go to Westfield Shopping Centre. So yeah, uh, should be a fun trip to East London. Hopefully we win and make it even more fun. And hopefully I don't get found out and I can uh, enjoy the game. Hopefully we win and hopefully I can get to go home. Trip from North London to East London begins here. Two trains, one destination. West Ham v Arsenal. Let's do it. This should have been intro to be honest. Instead of that six minute intro I just did. East London, welcome. What is that? Anyway, I was meant to stay on the train, get off Hackney Central. No, get off Hackney Downs, then walk to Hackney Central, get a second train. But I got off at Seven Sisters accidentally, because I always go off there whenever I get that train. Even for Arsenal or the City, I'm going anywhere. I always go off at Seven Sisters. So literally by force of habit, I go off at Seven Sisters and just like, wait a second. That's the wrong train. 15 minutes to the next one. So I thought to myself, let me look into other routes. Got the underground to Abbey Zington, and from there I got the train here. So uh, yeah, apparently Hackney Wick is closer than Stratford, but if I'm opposite ends of the stadium, I need to find my way there, but we're getting there. Now look, it's got a nice uh, atmosphere, there's lots of bars here. Now look, I know I'm two hours early, and I am two hours early, but I've heard Stratford, Stratford is more popular to get off at. I don't know if it was this before popular. It was a packed train. And I'm the only one walking down. I mean, there's someone jogging, but they're jogging. I'm just walking down Olympic Park by myself. Just like, <laughs> what has happened today? Do I feel safe? There's a shopping center on the other side. On the north side of the stadium. But I can go through here, right? <laughs> there's no match going fans going through here. Just joggers, cyclists, etc. They see you, HSBC. You can't even see the logo. <laughs> it's just a bit of a dead clip. Constantly asking about us, what, how much do you think it is to live, ne live in those flats next to the Emirates? What about those flats here next to in the Olympic Park? Must be a lot, surely. To the shopping centre, bruv. Hey, wait, Rose, what are you doing here? Road is blocked up. There's still no one here. <laughs> There's like 10 people on the street. Yeah, just arrived too early, mate. That's all it is. Apparently, the views from Stratford is a more scenic route. I mean, this, this ain't too bad. Ain't too bad, it's just that no one's here, <laughs> so it just feels weird. All right, we are part of security. I think I'm going down this way, it's quite nice. It is correct, I'm in Turnstile F. Turnstile B looks quite premium. Just seen a couple of coaches go by. I wonder who that is. It could be our players. I should keep quiet though. Which team is it? Two of them. Unfortunately, I can't see who's getting out. There's people over there trying to look around. <laughs> Walked past some gates and I thought, that's like a fan zone. They have a fan zone thing in Wembley. That looks like that. So I forced myself that's what it is. Just walked into the away end with the Arsenal fans. I, I could stay here, but I have no seat, so. I don't know about that. I mean, away games, so Arsenal fans turn up all game. So maybe I'd fit in, but nah, it's just too risky, mate. I've now stepped out of the away zone. And past the uh, ticket shop and the club store. And I see my turnstile. And uh, this thing looks brilliant in person. Look at this. I'm sitting right now as well. Perfection. Football League walk up. I've not heard of that. So this is what, we've won that as well. <laughs> Uh, FA Cup, we've won those. We've not won that. We're not in it in fairness, but that was great last year though, and it was a great final. Now it started raining. Brilliant. Cheers, London. England in general, actually. Turns out are not open. It's almost six. Game starts at 7.30. It's, you're, you're slacking, I tell you, you're slacking. It's actually opening up now. Okay, that's good timing. You go up here. Like, walk up here.
Not bad, but the seats behind the goals are very dodgy. But look how far that is from the in the play. Not made for football, but they made it work. Bro, a burger with bacon. It's not even that big. Nine pound eighty. One seventy for that. Eleven pound fifty. <laughs> for a small cheeseburger with bacon and a Twix. £9.80. <laughs> number six, Gabriel. Number 14, substitutes for Arsenal. And your number 31, Carl Hyman. Number two, William Saliba. Number seven, the Kyle Saka. And number 41, Declan Rice. And now, West Ham United! West Ham United! In goal number one, and captain, Lucas Fabianski! And on the bench this evening for West Ham.
Acne wick. Yeah. All right. Get me out of here. Almost there. It's good win so uh, it's a bit quiet here. Yeah. yeah, that was awful, man. We played terribly. West Ham turned up, played very well. We were terrible. Midfield was too weak. Um, rest of the team plays in that particular area of the field. Defensively not good enough and going forward doing offer enough. And West Ham turned up, West Ham are great everywhere, so... And they won the game. That was very dreadful, because our strand by West Ham fans were very vocal. The guy next to me was very aggressive towards Arsenal. And I couldn't say anything back, because obviously I'm undercover. <laughs> the Arsenal fans singing Declan Rice and left because Josh. West Ham fans replied with, we know what we are, Champions Europe, you know, you know. And then they said, um, you should have signed for a big club to Declan Rice. The most annoying thing, right, we're, we're down 3-0. And they substitute on Saka, Martinelli, Rice, Odegaard, after a final down. It's way too late and you bring these people on. All round off, when I'm listening to West Ham fans, we're very loud and just sitting with them. Really bad experience. Honestly, might be the worst. I don't know. I mean, I was at the game last year when I was 3 to Bright Brighton at home in the Emirates. That was dreadful as well. Um, this is up there though, especially like the added factor of being with the home fans. Just, and I couldn't do anything. I was just sitting there like, yeah. <laughs> I stood up when they scored just to like, you know, to not look out of place. That was painful. We scored right at the end. That goal meant nothing. But yeah, it is what it is. I'm about to get in to the station. There's a bit of a queue. To be back in my neighborhood. War memory over there. Be uh, lively on remember Sunday. Anyway, yeah, uh, I sent my thoughts on the game. We were not good enough and they were just good. And uh, you mix the two together and you get a 3 0 West Ham win. So it is what it is. It's actually 3 1. We scored really late. It's just it didn't feel like it mattered at all. Like it didn't matter, obviously, but like it doesn't feel like we scored, <laughs> even though we did. And I was like the last player of the game. But yeah, just really awful all round. Um, bloody annoying. It made it even worse for me personally because I was an Arsenal fan sitting amongst a lot of loud West Ham fans. And it was a dreadful experience. Like the document atmosphere, even though it was painful, I did film a bit of West Ham talk. Um, maybe some West Ham fans will enjoy that. I certainly did not. It's going to be even more painful to edit it on top of that. It's so windy, man, and it's raining to get in. The other scores, uh, in terms of the big teams, Chelsea, uh, they won 2 0 against Blackburn. Liverpool won 2 1 against Bournemouth away. Uh, man United have lost 3 0 at home to Newcastle. Um, so there's at least a little bit of uh, a joy there for us, you know, Man United losing and losing 3-0 at home. We have got Newcastle next uh, this weekend, uh, away. Um, hopefully better than today. We'll, we will start a better better team today. But today we didn't start a weak team. We started a weaker team than our strongest team, obviously, because the rest of the few players. But we still played a few first-team players here and there. Full strength on the weekend and hopefully we can uh, beat Newcastle, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> Because even in our, with our strongest team, that is a tough game. Um, so I'm looking forward to it uh, because, you know, I think it's a good challenge for the, for the squad. But I'm also dreading it because if we keep playing badly, <laughs> which we have the most of our games, even when we won our games, we've not played that well this season, I feel. Apart from Sheffield, like Sheffield United last week was great. Bournemouth away was great. Um, Champions League against PSV was great. We've had some great games. But I feel a lot of our games, we've not really played that well. Um, Today was more about West Ham just, you know, being better than us. But we were terrible today as well. We need to improve our performances because uh, sad, Saturday is massive. And then Sevilla, obviously, next week is massive as well. So, yeah. Um, hopefully we can do better in the FA Cup. And hopefully we can push on in the league and the Champions League. Get to the knockouts. And uh, we should hopefully move forward from this uh, from this loss. Hopefully learn from it. And what the draw is, because it's not happened yet and I don't care. I'd like to know who wins the tournament. Uh, unless it's a rival, obviously, but um, it would be interesting to see if Newcastle drew like Liverpool or something. I don't think it could draw, I reckon. Probably gives the rest of the field a bit of a chance. We'll see, but like, I think the winner is even Newcastle Liverpool. I know that's playing it too safe, but that's what I think it will be. And I would not be surprised if that's the final until they face each other on the way there. But um, yeah, I'm just got to be out of it because I want to see us win it. It's one of those competitions, isn't it? Like, it just feels like. I'm not worried properly, but it feels like a waste of time when you lose, obviously. I'm just waffling at this point. This is your boy David. Please like, share, subscribe. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.